The human eye can see literally millions of distinct colors, but human language categorizes only a tiny subset of all the different colors that we can see. And human languages actually vary a lot across cultures. And our research question is, why is this so different across cultures? Why do some cultures have so few words to divide up a color space, and industrialized languages like English and Spanish uh, have many more? So we went down to visit the Chimani in uh, the Bolivian Amazon to gather our own data using two extreme versions of the task. And what we did was we just brought a, a light box, a car battery to power the light box, and we just put color chips, 80 different color chips. We presented them randomly to each participant and just asked them to label the colors. We did it in two different ways. We did it one where we asked them to say what color that is, as simple as that. Or we, get, we asked them to choose from a set of colors that we had, we'd established as the, the likely color words for that language. And those are the two extreme versions of the task. There's a particular reason why we wanted to go down to the Chimani, and that is that this group of people uh, is a pre-industrialized people. They don't have the same kind of westernized goods that we have. And what characterizes these westernized goods is the fact that many of them are synthetically colored. In fact, one of the m most incredible transformations of our sensory world that we have brought about is the production of these synthetic pigments that's changed, literally changed what we see. And so we wanted to find a community that didn't have that kind of pollution in some sense, and then to ask what, what is the consequence of that change in sensory experience on language and on how our minds and brains work. The most exciting generalization that we found in our data was that warm colors are easier to communicate than cool colors. Warms like reds, orange, and yellow versus uh, blues and greens. And then we wanted to know why. We wondered why that might be. And it follows pretty straightforwardly from our communication hypothesis. The things that we want to talk about are objects against a background. And objects tend to be warm colored compared to their backgrounds. Think of sky, uh, water, grass, trees, that's all blues and greens. And objects tend to be warm colored. And so maybe the reason that all languages have more color words in the warm space than in the cool space is because we want to talk about objects and not about backgrounds. One of the most captivating problems that confronts people is whether or not we have the, we share the same experience of the world. And one of the main domains in which that problem has been tackled is in color vision. Because the only access we have to color information is through our eyes. So it provides this kind of lens into how the brain and the mind work.